Do you want to learn this effect? Well, don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. First, you wanna rotoscope yourself. Take a screenshot of the background and put it into Photoshop. Mask out the building and let the AI do the rest for you. Now you have a clean background without the building. Let's also mask out the building and save it as a PNG. Now you should be able to do this. Track the hands and assign it to a null object. Now just apply some rotation and finish the rest of the animation. Let's also mask out the whole foreground because that enables us to add in some different elements like an explosion, some debris, a shockwave and some dust elements. Now make a new adjustment layer and apply light burst to the layer. Animate the intensity and ray length and turn up the values just as the building lands, creating this really nice explosion. Set up a blender scene just like this, create a UV sphere and give it a stone texture. Apply the add-on cell fracture, press F3 to find the add-on and give it these values. Press OK and watch as the object splits into multiple fragments. Select all of the fragments and apply Rigid Body Active. And you can also add in a force field to play around with the explosion. Duplicate one of the stones and save it for later. This stone is going to hit us right in the head. Select all of the other stones and bake to keyframes. Select all of the keyframes and scale them up to make the explosion in slow motion. Find the right speed for your clip. Select the stone that we duplicated earlier. Animate it so it's going to hit us right in the head. Export the animation and boom, there we have the rock explosion right in our scene and remember to put the explosion behind the building now add the first clip to the ending so we can make a nice loop and there you have it guys that's how to make this nice effect smash that like button smash that subscribe button and see you in the next video